please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Tigers. Just smile and wave. Go back now. We got another installment in our course promo week with info about band and AP Lit. We're also giving you some information about two drives, one for food and one for blood donation, plus some info about the musical and FFA. First up, let's talk food drive. Caitlin Nosbish is doing a food drive competition between advising groups this week. Bring canned, non-perishable food items to your advising room this week. Caitlin will do the collected or donate the collected items to the food pantry. The advising with the most donations will get an ice cream party. This week only for canned and non-perishable items. For this advising food drive, here's the other drive. It's for the Red Cross. Are you interested in helping save three lives? FCCLA is holding the next blood drive Friday. February 17th from 9 to 2 in the field house. If interested, please sign up for, the, for a time on the Blood Donor app. Here's a plug for the musical. In just under three weeks, the, ca the cast of the musical Beauty and the Beast takes the stage. Buy tickets in advance. They're 10 for adults, 5 for students from 6th grade through 12th, and free for any student in 5th grade or younger. Tickets are available from Miss Lang's in the in the counseling office for the show. Show times are 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday and 2 p.m. on Sunday. Another group planning some upcoming entertainment is FFA. There's an FFA meeting from 3.30 to 4.15 in the high school ag room today. The agenda includes FFA week plans. Also, if you would like to help organize FFA week festivities, we will meet after the FFA meeting. They will finish by 5 p.m. That's almost it for today. Before you go, make sure to stick around to learn more about band and AP Lit. Hold on, guys. We got a special delivery for our anchor, Sam. <laughs> Happy me. Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's, <laughs> everyone. This is Sam, and I'm Julia. For Popper Live, I'm Sam. And I'm Julia. And Happy Valentine's Day, even if you're alone. And this is AP Lit. And band. AP Lit is a class that is offered for juniors and seniors. The purpose of it is to stretch your brain and learn more about literature. I really enjoy um, just the challenge of um, deeper thinking and um, it's one of the first literature classes I've taken outside of like the required English classes so um, just getting the opportunity to think in a different way and be surrounded by a different group of people is really fun. I really like to be in there and actually like think it's one of the parts of my day that I can actually like sit down and really use my brain. In AP Lit, they learn in a variety of different ways. This year we've done a lot um, rotating through different stories, like so prose, poetry, and plays. Um, so that's been really cool because, like personally, I haven't been exposed to all those different types of literature throughout high school. I enjoy the people in the class and also the activities and the learning that takes place. Um, I wouldn't say it's hard. I would say um, it just requires you to think differently um, and really tune into what you're reading instead of just reading what's on a page. While in a class with many other critical thinkers, lots of interesting conversations come up. I love the discussion that we have. Um, I think it's so awesome to hear all these different perspectives of literature, and that's what's so awesome about it is that it's so interpretive. So um, just being able to interact with other people and hear their points of view is awesome.
Band is a hands-on class where you get to play and learn music. Many students take the class due to the environment it creates. I took band originally because my mom said that she spent too much money on my clarinet and that I had to keep on taking the class. But I kept on um, taking the class because I like, I like it. <laughs> I think everyone loves playing music and all, but band is more of like an environment. So it's really fun getting to know all the different kinds of people. And I mean, it brings in different kinds of people from all over the school, like different groups. Um, some people that you might not always hang out with, but it's still fun to get to know. I am going to miss kind of like the atmosphere it creates. Like band has really become one of my favorite things about high school. And I'm really going to miss like the, the younger friends that I've made that won't be graduating with me this year. Uh, band has helped me because it's, um, it's kind of like having a built-in family almost. So even when you feel new to the school or like you're a freshman coming in, you feel like, well, I've got these people I can turn to and I'm just like really good friends and really good memories I've built in through band. So my favorite memory from band was probably freshman year when we had Madrigal, super fun, 10 out of 10. We walked around, we got to dress up in really cool costumes. Uh, my favorite band piece would probably have to be a pet band piece called Hey Baby, just because it seems to be a favorite among, like, even the, like, the students can sing with it too, and I just really like, I don't know, it's just kind of like a fun, happy song that I really enjoy playing. After graduating from high school, many seniors are planning on continuing playing in a band at the college they are going to. Uh, I am planning on continuing. I'm, depending on either or, whichever college I choose to go to, I'm hopefully going to be a part of the marching band and or like a wind ensemble. Yes, I'm continuing to play band in college. I plan to audition for UMD's symphonic band this summer. And I decided to do that because I work so hard and put in so much effort right now. So I want to keep on getting better in college and show off my talent. <laughs> Yeah, I am continuing I'm playing band. Um, hopefully next year at UW-Madison, um, I'm invited to play at their uh, small ensemble jazz band. Um, I just really enjoy jazz in particular, um, but I also just really enjoy band itself, so I'm excited for that. On the 14th of February, we will be having our Pops concert. It's gonna start at five with the middle school choir, followed by jazz band and then the Tintinabulators. And then that's followed by the high school choir and then high school band. The chorus number for band is 511, 512, and 513. Students are expected to sign up for at least two terms per year. Sign up today to join the band.